morning y'all happy monday it is dark hold on all right i turned on my light in my dining room to try to help with the lighting but happy monday first day back to work um i did just get ready with you guys like halfway i threw my eyeliner and my lashes on off of the camera because i didn't know how it was gonna go so we did that off camera but right now it is um 5 47 i'm not gonna wake my kids up i'm gonna wake dj up at six try to wake six, sissy up at 6 30 and leave by seven to give them both time to like kind of like wake up before we leave um but yeah today's first day back to work dj is going to be actually going to my school this year but since students aren't going yet he's going back to daycare and sissy's going to be going to the same daycare she started daycare today my mama heart i don't, I don't know how i feel just yet i'm hoping i don't completely break down and drop away but dj went to the daycare when he was his age so i know that she'll be fine but right now i'm going to go through a checklist of like everything i need to take because since this is first day of daycare we need diapers and wipes and bottles and food and clothes and so much stuff and then dj's going back so he needs his mat he needs his blanket he needs an extra pair of clothes so yeah plus i need to pack my backpack all the things but i did do like an instagram a reel for people to vote on what i should wear on the first day back to school so i have on these pencil earrings from creative stitches i think i think something like that on etsy this miss jamaica shirt with a pencil which from united monograms and i just tied it over this red dress and i have it with some black flats on so that's what we're wearing today this is going to be the start of the weekly vlogs so yeah, y'all voted on Instagram also that you would rather have longer vlogs than shorter ones. So I'm going to vlog all week and upload on either Saturdays or Sundays. Film like Sundays though to give me a little bit more time. So yes, but right now I'm going to go through all these steps to get ready to go to school. Happy first day back if you're starting back this week. If not, enjoy your last few days of break. <laughs> vlog i might have the glare on me i'm turning my lamps on right now though but it's actually lunch time everybody's left for lunch i usually never leave for lunch and if i leave for lunch i usually just go over to my mom's house but today i decided to stay so i can get some footage for you guys so just turn all these lamps on somebody just walked in there we go I don't know if I showed y'all my lights I put on the Promethean board. I lost the darn remote to them already because it's just who I am. But I put lights on the Promethean board to light the room even more. And then turn my lights on in the library. Boop, yay. This makes it so much more cozier in here. So yeah. It is currently lunchtime. And again, I stayed here to talk to you guys, but so far it's been a really good day. So um, we've been just in like, let me sit down first. I'm just talking and walking, talking and walking. Mm. I should get some more of those curtain lights to put behind me. Wouldn't that be so cute? I feel like it would be efficient though. Okay, so. Um, Lord, I came back up. Is this boxes and stuff everywhere, y'all? Sure. Yeah, All right, so <laughs> we've just been in um, PD meetings. PD meetings? All right, so we've just been in meetings all day, and we've been doing like whole group, like group activities, icebreakers, all things like that, talking about data from last year, all that good stuff. So we're finally done with all that for right now and lunch ends at 12 30 it's 11 39 i'm about to hit up the front office printer so that i can use it <laughs> because it has been hopping this morning with everybody using it but 
everything's going very very well we played a little icebreaker game where they put us like in groups and we did a scavenger hunt but in the scavenger hunt you had to take pictures of everything y'all play out the tripod everything and my team actually <laughs> won the challenge so that was pretty cool right now i'm about to print off 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 oh now i'm about to print off um my name tags i bought these name tags like for the tables from teaching the tinies last year and i'm going to use them again this year because i'm obsessed with them and pretty much yeah <laughs> trying to get i have to get everything ready for meet the teacher that's what's like kind of like freaking me out because meet the teacher is tomorrow so i need to have like all of the folder stuff like everything so that's what's kind of got me like oh no am i ready for this so that's what i'm printing off right now so i'm going to print all this off and i'm also going to laminate my new schedule cards i do want to have a daily schedule put up on the board for a visual for my students so i'm going to get this laminated i have my laminator right over here and then i'll be back yeah i set up my new printer but i just don't know how to use it <laughs> it's so fancy that i'm just just i don't know it stresses me out so yeah but yes this is what i'm about to work on miss tiana's called me and yeah i'll talk to you guys really soon hey y'all i'm back <laughs> So I had to come back to the school because I was printing everything for like my folders to get the parents tomorrow at Meet the Teacher. And um, I ran out of ink and I was not going to Walmart to buy more ink for the house when I'm about to be at work every day. So I decided to just come up to the school and print everything I need now. And I'm going to show you everything, how I have it like kind of like set up for Meet the Teacher and what I'm going to do. and all the things so tomorrow we're just meeting the parents and then friday we meet the students so a lot of fun stuff going on and it's also 806 and i need to go home and get my kids in the bed by nine let's do this my assistant today during like school hours she set up all the folders for me because you know sometimes those what are they called avery labels like sometimes i like to come off i'm going to show you a name that i know his mom won't mind she already knows about like all things social media and things like that so we'll be fine with him so this is what my name tags look like they're so cute polka dot with the rainbow which is the exact same design as all my classroom decor and then obviously i have the keep home and return to school so i have that in there so right now I'm printing off everything that's going to go in the folders. Folders. So I have like the staggered schedule, my behavior plan, which has my bucket fillers, the VIP table, and then the Gimme Five. Print that off. Um, the bucket filler calendar, student numbers, class schedule, supply list, all the things that I need to get, be able to provide to parents um, and meet the teacher tomorrow. So yes, I need. No, because I did the calendars. I was supposed to say I need two copies of the staggered schedule. But um, this is how my behavior plan ended up looking. I think it looks really, really cute. Dustin said that he likes that it's so many. Um, Dustin's my husband. Sorry. He said he likes that there's so many opportunities for students to like receive like some type of reward in the classroom. And I was like, yep, that was that was my my main goal. So yes. So right now that's what what is printing is my behavior plans. Um. Obviously, I can't like show you like the staggered schedule because students' names on them. Um, um, I can show you like our schedule though. Actually, I made us a daily schedule to put up front, and this is what it looks like. Again, it matches that polka dot and rainbow decor that I have going on. And then I printed this crayon, um, and it just has like a magnetic thing on it so this is what our schedule will look like throughout the day so yeah 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 all the buckets are still there which makes me happy because they're making me nervous at first and also i want to do something here now right now it has like the snack time stuff of course 
but um i'm wanting to put those like let me show you anchor chart things these type of things right here this is just taped up here i'm wanting to put those up here on the board to stay here and i want to do better with like doing anchor charts for like every letter every number every shape like things like that so that's something i want to put right here to just stay there and yeah that's what i'm thinking also did you see my affirmations yet they match my my decor too they make my heart happy so yeah but right now I'm just gonna finish printing all of this so that I can get home because I got two babies that need me. Also, I moved my darn printer, right? Probably have to move it back. I moved my printer because I thought that we had to have it, like this blue cord plugged into it for it to get internet and we, we don't. So I'm trying to decide if I'm going to move it back where I had it or not. So, um, yeah, I'm not sure because I have a plug right there now and I do need that plug right there like for like my things that I have over here. So, yeah, and it, it just moved like the calm down corner a little bit like now the pillows are back there and the cushions right here and stuff. So I don't know. Do y'all think this will be fine? I think it'll be fine. They can just kick that. If they get upset. All right. So I printed the behavior plan. I'm gonna move my camera because I don't want you to see any confidential information. I printed the staggered schedule, the numbers, I already have that. All right, now I'm going to print this. So, so this is what I used last year also. It's from Grades and Grace on TPT. All right, so while those are printing, I'm gonna go ahead and show you. I don't know if I showed y'all this last week, but I did blow up the advice for my child's teacher and goals for my students. And I already have the sticky notes and the pens here for parents to do this part. I am gonna have the sticky notes and pens here for parents to do this one. Um, I need to put some pens. I'm using my darn flare pens, y'all, because I don't have any pencils. So I'm honestly like, just praying that a parent like it doesn't like take my pins because I love my pins. So I'm going to put some pins up here for this one. I'm gonna just lay them right here. Like that. For the snack time sign up. I love having a snack when my kids wake up from nap. So that's what I do personally. Um and Yes. Also, y'all, I bought these stickers from Shein, and I put them on my laptop, and I'm going to put my name in the middle. I think that's going to be very, very cute. Very, very cute. But, I'm honestly just walking around, trying my best to make sure that I, like, have everything, honestly. Um, I brought all this stuff back because I'm not able to print. Oh, 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 I'm so happy I've seen this. I want to put one of these in the folders for students to scratch. I plan on um, mailing them, but I didn't move fast enough, so they didn't get mailed. I'm just doing everything on this table for my assistant to stuff the kiddos folders with, so yeah. Also, you guys, so we are not allowed to use our water fountain. We haven't used our water fountain, honestly, since, since like COVID Marie started. So um, all of our students need water bottles and freaking purely inspired organic the same people that gave me the donation that like funded all this amazing things in my classroom sent me a class set of water bottles so now i want to get like an over the door hanger or something but i don't know where i would put it to keep all the students water bottles in because i would like that to be part of their routine they come in you um hang you take your folder out put it in the basket hang your backpack up put your water bottle up or do I keep the water bottles here? What would you do? Help me. Because by the time this goes up, it won't be next week where students are here. So I can take your advice. So, yeah. Also, I forgot, y'all. I'm ranting. It's fine. I did. I put my student journals up here. I kept my do what makes you oh so happy. And I made these labels for my cart in the same font as, like, well, the same design as everything in my classroom. All right. Those are done. Now we're going to do the calendars. I really wish I could go in somebody else's. Is other people here? I'm gonna go see what else they have on their calendar in August. I'll be back. Hey 
Hey vlog, happy Tuesday. Today's Tuesday right now. I'm cutting letters out for my bulletin board out in the hallway. That's what I'm working on today. Today's Meet the Teacher, obviously, so we have a lot of things to get ready. But I'll de definitely like show you guys the bulletin board when I'm finished and all the things. So, but I'm about to eat my lunch right now, but I'll be back. Happy Tuesday. <laughs> you guys we are completely ready for meet the teacher so it is currently 358 meet the teacher starts at 6 I'm gonna go pick up my kiddos take them to my husband and then come back here and then my husband's gonna take the kids to their auntie's house because my husband has to be here because my son's gonna be going to school here this year so a lot of fun things going on but I'm gonna just show you how I have everything set up and then I also want to show you my bulletin board in the hallway because I finished it and I really enjoy it so I'm gonna show you all those things I did not talk in the hallway because I was so nervous, but um, that was the board. All right, so I did put up my water bottles, Purely Inspired Organic sent me a class set of water bottles for all my students. So I just put them right here. But when parents come in, the first thing I'll tell them to do is sign in right here. Um, I wanted to make a little like station tag, but I didn't. So I think I'm gonna move these so they'll have more room to sign in so yes so first thing they're going to do is sign in right here then they'll walk in find them a good seat i have my goals for my students with the stickies and the pens for them snack times right there folders are ready to go over and all the things so we're ready let's do this you guys now now Let's go home and change clothes. <laughs> hey y'all, happy Wednesday. Today's Wednesday, we're in the car right now. I'm at Sonic, I don't know if you can tell. I came to give me a large vanilla iced coffee with caramel and I got DJ corn dog. Um, in case he wants it, he ate breakfast, but in case he wants it for more breakfast or for lunch. So, yeah. But today's agenda. So we've gotten through Meet the Teacher, which is like always the hardest part of the school year. Once you get through that, you're good. So my goal today is to get things on the center shelf so I can finally film the video about how my centers run and everything like that. So I want to get things on the center shelves. I need to get my Pete the Cat activity printed off and laminated. And I need to figure out how many teachers in the school is going to be using it because we need to like label our clues with our initials so we're not taking each other's clues because last year, it was me and one more pre-k teacher that used it and like a whole lot of kindergarten teachers so um the kindergarten clues obviously look different but the pre-k clues might look kind of the same so we should, i just need to figure out who's going to use it so we can label our um clues with our initials so we don't grab each other's clues uh what else do i need to do today i need to put my numbers on my water bottle holder and on my um behavior store situation. I don't know if I showed you water bottles, but Purely Inspired Organic funded my classroom with water bottles. I made it like a hydration station. I need to make the label to put on the wall for that also. Really excited about that. So yeah, now we're down to like just getting the room together and like fun stuff because Monday and Tuesday were like stressful because you're getting ready for me the teacher and you want everything to go perfect and you want to seem like you know what you're doing a little bit. And now we're like, okay, we're good. Once you get through talking to the parents, you're good <laughs> and we're going to start decorating for our Friday meet the teacher on tomorrow on Thursday me and my partner are because we're going to decorate our room to look like a uh, like a space theme because we're blasting off to pre-k or pre-k is a blast Sissy's learned how to fake cough and she just keeps doing it so that's what's going on today and yeah I'm gonna try to I'm gonna go into film more today because my my partner knows that I film on YouTube my assistant knows I film on YouTube and my partner's assistant knows so 
none of them are scared of the camera so i don't know why i don't pull it out so i'm going to get more footage for you guys today for sure i want a tahoe y'all this nice tahoe just drove by and it's beautiful so we're going to manifest that i will have me a tahoe in january january february we're going to get a tahoe let's go y'all so we are now at the school it's lunch time you know i talk to you every day at lunch um and we haven't did much ribbon in meetings like all day so i haven't did anything in the room but one thing that me and my partner did do is kind of start setting up for me the teacher because we're doing a space theme i'm gonna show you what we did in the hallway how cute is this going to be so we're going to put a stool right here so that they can be seen in that one but then i have like so many other things that we're going to be doing to take a right of room for this blast off to pre-k so i'm really excited about that um as you know my goal is where to get things on center shelves right now i'm going to put something that says coming soon of course i have all of these um buckets on shelves but one thing about pre-k in the beginning do not fill up <laughs> all your buckets with things because um they will just get destroyed because your poor babies they don't know how to take care of your items just yet so fill up your buckets slowly so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna make a little sticker that looks just like my not finished stickers I don't know if i showed y'all or not but it's gonna look just like just like these right here and take this off oh, the same design but I'm going to put coming soon on it and I'm going to tape them to the front of buckets that don't have anything in them and say if you see a, like a label on a bucket that's why something isn't in there we will slowly be getting more uh, did I leave my computer at home I didn't take my computer inside I don't know I'll tell them that we'll slowly be getting more um items into our buckets at school but it won't be something that we get like fast so my computer's right there so i'm going to make those now get things on shelves today and then i need to work on name tags so i think i'm going to do the name tags in those first because those require printing and yeah and then the center stuff we can just throw this up in there and i have a meeting today with the parent at 4 30 so not like i'm going to be leaving at 3 15 when we're dismissed so that's what we're doing today uh my earrings of the day from shein they're so pretty they match my boots oh i haven't showed y'all my boots but i'll show you all my boots eventually and let's get started also i have all these stickers on my computer they're also from shein so cute but I guess I need to get to work, I guess. <laughs> so y'all, I see the document this moment. I've had my Cricut machine for like three years, like since 2020 for sure. Um, I've never hooked it up to Bluetooth. I didn't even know it could do Bluetooth. My computer's right here. My machine's right here, not even connected. Are you kidding me? I've missed out on this all my life. Cool. y'all happy thursday today's thursday and now we're preparing for meet the teacher tomorrow on friday so i haven't done anything love that for me but i did make their name tags i have their name tags ready i got their cool student gifts this is what we're giving them a little pair of sunglasses i got those from amazon and i made the tags on powerpoint now we're gonna try to start blowing up some balloons and then once all the balloons blow it up i plan on 
getting all my center shelves together and then decorating, so. I'm so nervous, I hate blowing balloons. <laughs> Alright, balloons are blowed up. We're about to start getting them up on the ceiling. We did it happy friday we met all the kiddos and not all of them i'm making a house visit to two of them because they live in like the same area but so i wasn't able to give a tour of the classroom yesterday so i'm just going to show you around and everything and what me and my partner did my partner decorated it too with me and she wore a miss frizzle dress oh my gosh so on the door we put blasting off oh the glare still there okay on the door we put blasting off to pre-k so you know obviously the parents knew why it looked like space in here and i had a, a sign in sheet for the parents to do and this is what well the tent was in a different spot that's the rocket ship tent but this is what the parents seen and the kiddos seen when they walked in we have earth and oh my goodness it was so nice so we made that look like stars we just put those that's just like a tablecloth and then we put a tablecloth on our promethean board so that we could take like all the kiddos pictures here to label all their things in the classroom so that's what that looked like and then we had a rocket ship it was so much fun and i had all these things that um the kiddos could take pictures with and things like that so oh that was fun and they could also take pictures of this one. So, yeah. I have one more. Um, I have one more baby coming at like 3.45. So, I'm going to keep the decorations up till then. But this was the student's gifts. I think I already showed you guys. But um, I made these just on a PowerPoint. And we gave them sunglasses. Like, you know, to go with like the brightness or whatever. So, that's what everything looked like. And I want to show you guys. So, when my students came in just so i could interact with them in a way that's like not really weird because you know they don't really want to talk to you because they don't know you i did a scavenger hunt with them around our classroom to find different things in their new school so it was really really fun um, they did a good job i had them try to like draw a line to like check when we found all the different places so i did this with every single child and it definitely like it put a smile on like the parents faces they were like look at my baby so so much fun such a fun day um I, i'm pretty i know you guys have seen my mrs frizzle dress like so many times but today it really really made sense so it made me so happy and um yeah it was such a good day i'm so excited for the school year i feel like well i always go through um I always go through the problem when it's like back to school season of having a hard time. I want to show my tent. Okay. So I always go through like the problem back to school season having a hard time of like letting my kids go from last year and you know like being like excited and stuff like that because when my kids come in because our pre-k and k is in the same school. So when my kids come in from pre-k last year going to their k teachers I'm always like 
no but i don't know this year i feel like i have a lot of outgoing kids that are going to be like excited and like have the energy level that i have plus i have a partner that has the energy level that i have it's going to be so much fun and i'm so excited nothing's killing the vibes this year nothing is killing the vibes this year you guys so if i get on here being depressed one day because something happens comment in the comments i thought you said nobody was going to kill the vibes so <laughs> right now even though i have this baby coming i'm going to go ahead and take down these tablecloths just on my cabinets or my shelves because i'm going to go ahead and start putting things on center shelves and things like that right now because then i won't have as much to do tomorrow because i was going to come tomorrow to put everything on shelves but if i do it now we'll be good so that's what i'm going to go ahead and do i'm not going to take down the decorations again until he comes in but yeah i'm so excited do y'all see my earrings they're mrs frizzle like yes ma'am her dress and my dress are the same so i'm going to take these tablecloths down over here and start getting some things out on shelves but i might actually clean my table off first because there's a lot of stuff going on over here but it is 3 30 and she said they'll be here at like 3 45 so i'm going to go ahead and open my door and get to work morning y'all happy saturday let's get this room taken down i have my alani new i'm drinking the cosmic stardust this morning it is currently 6 10 so um let's just get going completely back to normal all the space things are gone so this morning first thing i'm going to do is work on putting up all of those supplies right there these are all the supplies that parents brought in yesterday for us in the classroom um that's a lot of stuff so my goal is to just get it into i don't think you even see them the lockers back here that's usually where i keep all like the supplies and things like that like out of the way and stuff and if it all doesn't fit in there then of course i have these lockers now so that's what we're going to do first and then we're going to get things on center shelves and then de definitely before we leave we have to go get all the pizza cat shoes hidden around the school because pizza the cat scavenger hunt starts monday okay let me just bring all these bags over here yeah so now that all the decor is down i just organized all the supplies that parents brought in but see all these supplies put into these lockers right here and um pray that it all fits in there if not i do have some room in my lockers that are my like book nook area so yes but i'm so thankful for everything that parents brought in this year like then with the extra mile i've already gotten snacks in for snack time too like thank you guys <laughs> All right, you guys, so um, obviously the room all back together. I get all the supplies. If you've seen, there was a whole lot of back-to-school supplies on the table. I got all of that supplies put up. I'm actually about to turn these lights off and turn the lamps on and get cozy because now we're going to stack some center shelves. Also, I want to show you what I added to the center shelves. So if I'm going to tell the students if the boxes have those little stickers on them that say coming soon. Obviously, they can't read them. But I'm going to say the little stickers with the rainbow. That means there's not going to be anything in that bucket for a while. So, 
when I start to send back to you know back to school season, I don't fill all of my buckets instantly because they need time to learn how to put things back the right way. What am I allowed to play with this way? What am I allowed to play with this way? So it's very important first to teach. Um, sorry, I was trying to plug my lights up. So it's important first to teach all of your routines. Hold on, y'all. I'm missing up some stuff. I'm back. I'm done tearing my room up, obviously. If you've seen, I knocked, like, my document camera down. My Promethean board wouldn't move. The lights were coming off. It was, like, a whole thing over there. But, um, I, yeah, I don't fill all my center shelves, like, when they first come. I put just a few things out so they can learn all of the routines of how to use our items first before I just give them a free-for-all with all of our, um, amazing center options so that's what i do if you want to give them everything do you boo and look look at my lights on my promethean board um i want them to flash what can i reach from over here oh y'all it's not working <gasps> no No, it's not working. No, it's not working. All right, well, we're about that another time. So, yeah, that's how I do things. But right now, going to get all these center shells filled up. And, um, yeah, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> also, y'all, so you know I bought these lights, these curtain lights. I don't have them on right now. I think I'm going to try putting some more batteries in them. But they make a noise as if it's like, um like a cricket in the lights or something so i don't know if it's doing that because the lights need to be changed or something like the batteries need to be changed so i'm gonna put some new batteries in here and see what happens but i will come back and talk to you guys when all the shelves are full because don't know how would time lapse me just like walking back and forth to all these different center shelves so I'll see you guys soon. Hey, right, you guys. So we've gotten all of the centers set up. I'm going to just run you through everything that I put on the shelves. I guess I'll start in the front. So I've set up my display books that we're going to be reading next week. We'll be reading the Pete the Cat for the Pete the Cat scavenger hunt. David goes to school for our no David behavior activity. I did set up all of my items on my block center. So all of those are ready to go. Um, then we'll come this way. So in my like sensory bucket, like sandbox, I put these fish here and like these sensory beads and they can simply go fishing for different letters here. So that's what I put in that one. And then on my writing shelf, I need to put another piece of tape on this one. It doesn't want to stay. I put this little, I don't know, writer. And then I put this where they can trace lines. They can stamp letters. This will help them begin to understand how to like do the tripod grip um, with putting the gumballs into the little gumball machine. And then I have all these different things that they can use to write or they can put stickers on a piece of paper using their fine motor skills. So that's what's in the writing center. And then for the outfit center, I don't know if I've ever showed you guys me turn my light table on but for the alphabet center um i put these are you plugged in i'm guessing you are right maybe not let me make sure you guys yeah it's plugged up where's the front oh no it's not coming on why are you not coming on you guys if my light tables died i wouldn't be so upset let me unplug it and plug it back in. Oh, that freaking sucks. Okay, we'll try to fix it. Okay. Anyway, I put these into my light table. I put these. We're not learning letters next week or the next week, I think. But I put those in here just to go along with the letter of the week wall that's how that's going to be set up and then i put these play-doh play over here they can stamp letters they can try to draw letters 
tracing letters with like a magnet and a ball and then the alphabet keys where they have to find the key that matches um then the math center which is my purple center you're blurry hold on okay i put this here they can stamp letters this hot dot they count how many and try to do which number it is you know like that they're gonna feed the bunny that the roll the dice count how many and feed the bunny that many and then them sorting colors with gears and then for our science or steam center i have this so they can build like a chain reaction matching the animals where they belong the science viewers and then um this like um, earthquake activity they like build a house on top of this tray and then they can switch the number and it's how hard the earthquake is pretty cool i put things in my steam bins for the morning times i don't need to go get two more i'll have 15 i have 17 students so that's great and then i set up everything in my art center so each child would get a journal they can just like draw in live their best life with crayons are here play-dohs here silly scissors dot markers this they can like draw on it turns on like that so they can draw pictures on it which is really really cute i just drew art center some more things that they can use to draw construction paper regular paper and then this that says i drew this picture on my first day at preschool and um that's all the centers you guys yeah because we've we set the dramatic play a while ago so that's everything i'm about to set up these osmos on this table we did also find out that we're getting two macbooks for our classroom so i think i'm gonna have the macbooks stay at the my part my partners my assistant small group table and then keep these osmos that's what i'm thinking so that's everything that's what we got going on and yeah now let me work on my my light table because it's not coming on i don't know why <gasps> there it is yep yeah, look at the lord because i was definitely about to flip out so this is my light table i got it funded to my classroom through a donut shoes project and it's like so cool it like flashes different colors i'm so scared to even cut it off i'm thinking it has to be a shortage in my remote or something i don't know shoot okay there it is it's flashing i don't know why it's not flashing different colors though Let's see if I can change it to blue. No, I can't. All right. Anyway, guys. Yeah. That's what we have going on. My light table stresses me out, but we're going to figure it out. My battery, my remote has to be dying or something. I'm not really sure. Anyway, I'll be back when the... <laughs> Osmos are set up and my table is cleaned off. So let's do this. <laughs> All right, you guys. So now I'm about to get out of here. We did everything. Everything for the Osmos are sitting right there. The tablets are, well, the iPads are charging. Everything is already out for the Pete the Cat scavenger hunt. I have Pete up there with his clue. He's hiding from the kids. So they have to find Pete first before we go on the hunt. Um, I think everything's done. I got up my new, uh, my goal this year is to not get fluent in sign language, but learn a good bit of sign language. So I have up some signs for sign language for me and my kiddos. We can both learn it together. So I have that up now. Um, but I think we did it y'all. We're ready for Monday. This is everything I'm taking home. I am taking home the anchor chart paper because I need to make an anchor chart because I'm not keeping that orange one that I had that look terrible. So we're going to redo that this weekend before Monday. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the first weekly vlog being back in school, back to work every single day. And I cannot wait to keep you guys updated every day. But for right now, me and Pete are signing off. I hope y'all have a great week. Bye.